Well, here we are, eighth uh, DIY star finalist out of the 25 crafters chosen to come here and compete for the title of Home and Family DIY Star. Here they are, mother and daughter team. They're from Hi. Tallahassee, Florida. Please welcome Steph and Vicki Kubiak. Welcome. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How is it that you guys started working together? Well, ever since I was young, we've been working on DIY projects together. But just about a year ago, we were rescreening the porch at my house. She and made me. I was an unwilling volunteer, but she made me. She's pretty willing. Well, um, but she was like, this is pretty easy. We should make a video about it. And I was like, no, I don't think so. But it's, we started thinking about it and realized, Wait, you know. You were the one who thought about doing uh, a production thought, quality no, 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 sort of no, 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 video. No, and no, she has a production degree. That's what her degree is in. Oh. I said, you can make the video. Oh, I'll just okay. be your little minion. I will help I, you. But I was I, like, wow. Yeah. Mom's but we thought it would be, we started thinking about it and realized it would be a great way to show what women can do and to really, I have, I have two nephews and a niece and uh, Tyler and Geneva and I wanted to be able to show like, look what we've done together. And what so. women sure. of all ages can do. Yeah. All right, so when you submitted your video yes. for this show, what was the moment like for you both when you found out that you were actually going to be a finalist and coming to L.A. to be here? Oh, my goodness. You know, when you get a phone call like that, you don't really know how to act, but I wanted to be cool, calm, and collected. Right. And she's talking, and she says, oh, you're one of the finalists. And I go, oh, well, that's exciting. <laughs> but she didn't see what happened afterwards. After I hung up with... With her, I, I quickly called Steph. I said, Steph, we're going to California. They want both of us. They want mother-daughter projects. And I kept saying, what? What's happening? What's happening? Right. So I had my pajamas on. It was late. I drive over to her house, and I we just were jumping up and down yes. for like an Literally, hour. And my dad was like, I've never seen you two that excited. Oh, so no, the whole excited. family the whole is so family happy. Very supportive. But, but you sent it. It was just you it, it was the just video me. I sent the video. you sent in. Well, and the reason was it was DIY star, not stars. And, and we're very she much rule followers. Follow. But oh. they want <laughs> and they they saw that we I was part of a team and they sure. went to our blog and looked and said hey mother hang daughter. out with Woody a little bit he'll show you how to break the rules yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what okay, yeah. meanwhile yeah, that's for here's sure. here's about the half of what you sent in okay thanks I was just looking at the tent I just finished from our grandchildren hi I'm Vicky I'm one half of the blogging team of mother daughter projects I've been crafting and sewing since I was 10 years old look it's me in my 4-H uniform to go along with the tent, I made this campfire, complete with pool noodle logs, beanbag rocks, and marshmallows made with sticks, felt, and a little bit of hot glue. Put it all together, and you're ready to make s'mores. I would love to be on Home and Family. It would be so much fun. That is oh, lovely, and I must say the production value is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> the lighting, everything sounds sound off. very, very nice. <laughs> but today we're going to be making little little doors for our big doors. Yeah. How, how did you come up with this idea, and why are we making little doors? Well, I was at a friend's house, and he had a sticky note over his peephole, and I was like, why, why is that? And he explained to me that people can actually purchase cameras to go on the outside of your peephole to see in your house. And there was actually recently a report in the news where this exact mm -hmm. thing happened, and it just got me thinking, you know, I wasn't necessarily scared that it was going to happen to me but I was yeah. thinking is there a way I could cover my people when I'm not using it and maybe have add a little cute flair to my house so in the middle of the night this idea came to me I called mom the next morning and I, I was very glad that she didn't call me in the middle of the night because she literally <laughs> it was the middle of the night she called me the next morning and I said oh let me get my stuff together I have things we can use and she had everything we needed well mm -hmm. yes. we got you all together early this morning yes. and you got busy and take us through a little bit of what you did sure so we started by making a guide to hold uh, the five popsicle sticks in place. So that's what mom's doing here. And we duct tape a popsicle stick on the bottom and the top for that guide. And then we're gonna lay five popsicle sticks on top of that. And right now I'm actually cutting a piece of duct tape to attach those sticks together. Mm. You can also use regular duct tape with that also. But the sheet duct tape actually works really well as well. So I'm putting the duct tape on the back and it actually just holds all five sticks together really nicely. And once we do that, we're actually going to, right now I'm measuring a popsicle stick for the bottom and the top, just making a little mark. And then I'm using regular scissors to cut the popsicle sticks. Very easy to cut through. And now just doing a quick sanding, so uh, no rough edges. And now mom's actually gluing the sticks on the top and the bottom. And we're just using regular tacky glue, but you could use any glue you have. And now I'm actually making the X pattern. So I just measure it out, mark it, and I'm using the first stick that I cut to make a guide for the second one. So I'm cutting that out, putting it in place. Perfect. Then we're going to cut a little Look section in the middle to uh, to make that X. And mm. it just perfectly lays. You may have to do this a couple times right. to get it right. but And now Mom's sanding it. And we're just sanding it before we glue the other pieces on just because it's easier to do, do that way. 
So she's sanding the door, the X pieces, and a little handle, which is made out of a, a little wood plug that you use for like screws. And mom's gluing it in place with again with the same tacky glue. And she's putting uh, the X pattern on. And there's the handle. There's the handle. Look at that. Wow, there it is. that's brilliant. I can't yeah. wait to see what you could do with a big door. I know. Oh, wow. Was that stain or diluted paint? It was stain. It's it was stain. stain. Yeah, just, okay. Yeah. okay. And you can use whatever kind of stain you have, whatever color, just whatever is in your craft yeah. stash. Okay, well, that's that. That's yeah. all easy, but what about the wheels? Here? So next yeah. is the wheels. Yeah. I love Legos. I have a huge collection. So these are from my Lego stash. So <laughs> this is basically, we're going to make the wheels. We're going to take a wheel here, and we're going to put a little Lego pin right into it. And then we're just going to take this Lego piece and put it right on top. Very oh, simple. Snaps right in. Exactly. Very simple. And now to attach it to the door, we're going to use this product called Suguru. Have you guys heard of this? No, but it looks like sugar. Yes. It, yes. Nice. it kind of looks like I used like to sugar. own a Suguru. A Suguru? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Drove it to work every day. Well, it's really neat. It's actually moldable glue, and it's removable. And that's why we're using this, because... Moldable glue. Moldable, moldable glue. glue. Yes. I know. It's very neat. Do you want to touch it? Work it? Yes. Yeah, here. Take some. Where can we find this? You can get this at Target. Oh, and you online, can order target. online, yes. Yeah. And what's it taste like? Uh, no, don't no, no. I mean, you could try it, but I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think like I, a child. Mom's going, no, 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 no you're no, like, no, 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 try it. I'll two of us. Yeah, like, no, no, don't do it. You're like, exactly. Don't no, do that. So right. I'm going to take, I'm taking just a little bit of it, and you just kind of play with it, mold it around, and now I'm going to put it right here on the back of the... What? Wheel here. Okay, question. Is it how, what's the drying time? Do I got to work quickly? 24 with it? hours. Oh, so 24 we got to yeah. we, it's gonna well, cure. Well, as we're playing with it, we have uh, we have uh, it's about 45 about minutes? 45 minutes to, to work until with it starts it. to harden. Oh, but then it starts yeah. to harden in 24 hours is the fuel is the cure time. The Do cure you, time. you have to keep it in here to keep it if you don't use all of it to keep once, it fresh? Uh, once basically you, after an hour you don't you have to. Yeah, yeah, once, exactly. once it's right. open, it, you find it cannot it. save it. Do it. Yeah, exactly. And there's so many good uses for it. So so we put it to on the Lego here. And now we're just going to place this on, just like so. Just push it in place. And you would let that set. Is it paintable yeah. then? If you needed to paint over it or stain you know it, or are you? I don't know. The Subaru? I don't yeah. know. Um, I'm not sure actually. Okay. Yeah. Sure, yeah, we uh, haven't needed to paint over it, but um, yeah. So we just place that on. We put the second wheel on, and. Uh, Perfect. We're also going to use the Sugru for the next okay. step. Oh, I, okay. Yeah, well, that's perfect. That's all oh, we, need to hang, we need. We need to hang need to make our little hanger. door, and we're going to use the Sugru to use the put the metal rod on to hang oh. it on the door. And Mark, I noticed um, when you came in the other day that you have muscles, so yeah, I think you're going to do this. Oh, part. I'm going to do this. Yeah, so about, about okay. ten inches, if you'll cut well, I will. Please. Okay. Um, Do it. Hang on, just chat. There's no kryptonite in the room, is there? No. I'm not sure, they can't. In case this doesn't work, I'm going to. Okay, there's a. Hold on to that. Yes. Uh oh. You can do it. Oh, come on. You can do it. Woo! Yeah. Didn't you hurt far? yourself there, Cowboy? No, I didn't. <laughs> Is that, what are we talking right yes, about that's there? Good. That's, that's good. exactly right. Yes. That's good. Yes. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yes. yes. Wonderful. Yes. And then we're actually just going to take the Sugru and we're going to put Sugru on both ends. And we're just going to kind of mold it and mold it in place here. And then we're going to place it on the door, which and is what we have over right. here. That's yes. It. And how long did you leave it cure for? 24 hours. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 24 hours. Yeah. And okay. obviously, your this door is a prop door, yeah. so this was laying down. But your door, um, since it's upright, you'll want to put a little piece of duct tape over the middle of it while it's drying, so the bar doesn't slide Stand. down. Okay. We'll give it a try. Put it up there. Okay. We'll see if we. And got we have a done. finished piece here. Let me. A little barn door. Should we see if that works? Hang oh, on. Oh yeah. See. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see who's hmm. at the door. Who's at the Let's door? Let's see who's there. Let's see. Let's see who's there. Who is it? Uh, I don't, I don't uh, think he's out. Don't let him in. Pizza. Don't let him in. Pizza delivery don't man. Okay. No, no. Don't. You can't come in. You're not. You can't come in. I can't. Oh. All right. 